हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक लेट्स सॉल्व द एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन नंबर 14 ऑफ चैप्टर 10 लाइट फ्रॉम क्लास 10 एनसीईआरटी साइंस टेक्स्ट बुक एंड द क्वेश्चन गोस लाइक दिस एन ऑब्जेक्ट 5 सेंटीमीटर इन लेंथ इज प्लेस्ड एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ 20 सेंटीमीटर इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ कॉन्वेक्स मिरर ऑफ रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर 30 सेंटीमीटर फाइंड द पोजीशन ऑफ द इमेज इट्स नेचर एंड साइज सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव बीन गिवन अ कॉन्वेक्स मिरर हुज रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर इज गिवन एज 30 सेंटीमीटर एंड देयर इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट of height 5 cm which is placed at a distance of 20 cm in front of this convex mirror and we have to find out the position where the image will be formed what will be the nature of that image and its size now before solving any light chapter related question we should first draw the diagram because that will help us to visualize the question easily and also help us to know what are the signs to be used with u v and f so let us draw the diagram first so here this is a convex mirror and this is the principal axis of the convex mirror then we have an object of length 5 cm length means it's the height of the object so here we have an object which is placed at a distance of 20 cm in front of this mirror so here we have our object whose height is given as 5 cm and the object is placed at a distance of 20 cm from the pole of this mirror then the radius of curvature of this mirror is given so r is given as 30 cm now what can we find out from radius of curvature we know that the focal length of the mirror is half of the radius of curvature so here we have been given the radius of curvature and if we substitute the value of r in this equation we will get the focal length of this mirror so substituting 30 over here we get the focal length as 15 cm so the focal length of this mirror is 15 cm now let us put the proper sign to it now we know the focal length of a convex mirror is positive so i write here positive 15 cm is the focal length of this mirror why is it positive because you see this mirror is a part of this sphere now if this is a sphere its center should lie somewhere over here and this length is given as 30 cm now the focal length is half of the radius of curvature now since this length is the radius of curvature its half will be the focus over here and this length is the focal length of this mirror now to measure the focal length we are going towards the right that is in the direction of light light goes from left to right so we are going in the direction of light that is from the pole we are going towards the right so the focal length of this convex mirror is plus 15 then we have the object distance u is minus 20 cm because to measure the object distance we have to go towards the left from the pole against the direction of light so it's minus 20 cm height of the object is given as 5 cm now we need to find out the image distance that is v so we'll use the mirror formula which is 1 by f is 1 by v plus 1 by u so our 1 by v will be 1 by f minus 1 by u f we got over here as plus 15 so it's 1 by 15 minus of 1 by object distance is minus 20 so it is minus 20 so 1 by v is 1 by 15 plus 1 by 20 over here i write the numbers as they are and multiply them so that it will be easier to solve it so 15 15 gets cancelled it's 20 and 20 20 gets cancelled it's 15 so it's 35 by 15 into 20 it is 7 by 60 so 1 by v is our 7 by 60 so v comes to be 60 by 7 which is 8.57 cm so our image distance comes to be plus 8.57 cm this is the position of the image that the image is formed at a distance of 8.57 cm from the pole to the right of the pole so we have our image distance is 8.57 cm now to find out the nature and size of the image we have to use the magnification formula so the magnification is given by minus of v by u for a mirror which is equal to height of the image by height of the object now the image distance is given here as minus 60 by 7 so 60 by 7 by object distance we have is minus 20 don't forget to apply the proper signs with the values of u and v that you are substituting height of the image we have to find out height of the object is 5 cm so minus minus cancels it's 
by 7 into 20 and which is equal to hi by 5 which is 3. Now we'll cross multiply this 5 over here then we get 15 by 7 is height of the image or your height of the image is plus 2.14 centimeter. So this is the height of the image which means that in which the plus sign indicates that the image is virtual and erect and 2.14 is the length of the image or the height of the image. From this we can conclude that the height of the object is given here is 5 centimeter whereas the height of the image we got here is 2.14 centimeter which indicates that the image formed is a reduced image. So the image is virtual and erect and it's reduced. So let's write down the nature now. So the nature of the image is that the image is virtual and erect and the image is reduced in size or the image is diminished. So the answer to this question is the position of the image that is the image distance is plus 8.57 centimeter and the nature and size of the image is this. Now let's draw the ray diagram to verify this. So one ray goes parallel to the principal axis after reflection it diverges and it appears to come from the focus. Another ray passes through the center of curvature undeviated. So these two rays meet over here and this is the position where the image is formed and this is the image distance. Now children here I have two things to say you that always remember to give the arrowheads while drawing these ray diagrams otherwise your marks would be deducted. Secondly a very important tip is that whatever be the position of the object in front of a convex mirror the image always forms between f and pole that is always the image distance is less than the focal length. This is to be remembered while solving questions related to convex mirror. So on that note we come to the end of this video. If this video was helpful to you please like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Please watch the playlist containing the solved physics questions and numericals from the previous year's board exams. I've shared the link of the playlist in the description box. It will be very helpful to you while preparing for your exams.